Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. I know I've been gone for a little minute, but I'm back. And today I'm going to focus on Mother, Pat McGrath. So I have her palette and I have three lipsticks that I'm gonna try on today. So I'm gonna do a look with this. I already did my brows. If you care about what I used today, I gotta turn this light. So today I use Anastasia Dip Brow in Ebony and then I use the P. Louise Base in number five. That is what I use to kind of conceal and clean up my brows. I did them kind of thicker today. I'm in the process of growing these bad boys out. So you know, you gotta, gotta get it together. So let's get started. I gotta take off my eyes. So I'm gonna start by using the matte book from the crayon case. Now the palette I bought because your girl is on a budget, so I can't just be out here buying $150 eyeshadow palettes. So I bought a quad, so it only has the four colors and they're mostly like shimmer, so I would suggest doing something else to do with the look. So that's why I'm gonna go in with the matte book. If you have not seen it before, it's really pretty and I love it because of course it's all matte. So it's a perfect palette to have with other palettes. I mean, you can use it all by itself if you're gonna do, which I'm gonna start with. This color and probably, I think I'm gonna do that and that, the purple and that pink. But, um, you know, it's a perfect palette to kind of do anything with. You can do an all matte look. I'm using the wrong one. So I'm starting with the beige one all over. You don't necessarily need to set this base, but I think that I'm so used to doing it that, you know, it just happens out of habit. And then I'll go over like the look of the palette and all that other stuff too. So, a little bit of that. And I guess I got to put my, I got to use my mirror because y'all know I can't see. So I'm using that lighter brown one in the crease just to kind of slowly build it. And then I'm going to go with the brown one that was above it. So it's like that. And just a little bit of that in the crease just to build some definition. The first one was a little too light, so. Gotta mix it up a little bit. So, I feel like YouTube and Instagram are the police when it comes to music. So I had to like, cause normally I have the music on my TV and I just use well, I forgot those music channels that just play whatever genre you want. But it always flags me. And even though I don't get paid for YouTube now, if I start, well, when I start getting paid for YouTube, those videos are not going to count. And I don't want to have 40 videos that people go back to and watch and I don't get paid for. So I found instrumentals on YouTube. And they're actually like instrumentals people made to like real songs. So you might recognize them a little bit. Just so I'm not in silence. So kind of sweeping back and forth like a windshield wiper. I just twisted my hair, y'all. I'm going to leave it in. I don't go back to work until a couple more days. But I'm going to leave it in like that. So I'm going to show you the Pat McGrath palette. I got the rose gold one. So this is how the packaging comes. This does tie up, but it takes me longer to go through the process of trying to untie it. So it comes like that. And then it also comes with a little paper that has some information about Pat McGrath. And then it has the colors of the 
eyeshadows because it doesn't have it on the back of here but I like that it's like that gold mirror and it has her information again it says use without caution shade throwing and eye ecstasy may result in prolonged use so super cute and then it has like the number on it now I have touched it before I'm not even gonna lie but my faves color I got the rose gold one because of course if you know me I'm a rose gold girl anything that's like bronzy gold straight gold rose gold I'm gonna wear it so I like that it comes with a little mirror makes it easy I love a palette when it comes with a mirror like that's my my jam if it comes with a mirror it saves me time especially when I'm traveling like I could travel with this palette and probably another palette that I built for Mac I'm gonna go in with that um purpley color so I'm gonna go in with this one and this one I'm gonna go in with the lighter one first now the only bad thing about using YouTube instrumentals and stuff is constantly having ads like every two seconds y'all you, you got another ad but this is my song now so I'm gonna go in and kind of build my outer corner it's all about the blending so that first color just building up that outer corner oh like I was saying you could take this and another palette um you can build your own palettes with most companies now but um you can get build yourself like a matte quad and then have this and the matte one and Go on about your business. But love that this has a mirror. I guess I can talk about my life since I haven't really been on here lately. Um, I've just been in a funny headspace. So I've been real and I think it, you know, partially has to do with living in Ohio and the fact that you know winter is approaching if you look outside right now where i'm at there's some snow on the ground and i didn't ask for this i don't really want any parts of this snow but here we are thanks mother nature so it's just you know it gets dark early right now i'm recording and it is like 4 30 and you can tell it's about to be dark in about 20 minutes or so. So that is that doesn't help either. I think it's just like that wintertime depression. So I've been battling with that and, you know, trying to stay motivated with things. I did start a new job. So you guys don't know. I mean, if you know me personally, you know where I work. But I don't really want to talk about work on here. But I still work for the same company, but I am at a different location which is considered a promotion. So I'm super excited about that. I've been there for, I'm recording this, so it's actually a month. This won't be out until a week from now, so it'll be a little over a month, but I've been at this location for a month and it has been really great. I mean, it's been helping with my headspace because sometimes, you know, we spend a lot of time at work. Even though I am part-time, Pretty. So I'm going to go into that darker purple. I'm going to put that kind of in the crease. I'm like kind of building everything in the crease. But um, as most of y'all know, we spend most of our time at work. So it's hard when you're somewhere and you're not necessarily happy or you're not, you don't feel like there's a lot of growth or just good things happening for you there. You start to feel like you don't belong there so it's nice to get out be somewhere and really feel really appreciated and happier so I'm happy to be at my new location I do miss my people from my old location but you know I can always go visit them if they're really your friend just to hang out with them so just kind of building me this is giving me sunset vibes unintentionally so I'm building 
the way I typically do my makeup is I kind of build everything in the crease and it just blends, starts to blend a little bit higher. So when I start with those lighter colors, I blend, I put more and then the lighter when I build, can't even talk, blend it a little bit higher and then this one is going to be less blended and more focused in that crease. So, I love it a lot though. I did not even put moisturizer on. Now I gotta remember to do that when I come back to it. And now the, the question is which color? I wish this was interactive so I could ask you guys which one I should use. Let you guys participate a little bit. So. But other than that, been doing good. Um, my podcast is I don't want to use this new brush so it's a morphe brush i've been using a lot of those i'm gonna go in with this brown and just kind of blend it under the brow no i lied i'm gonna do the orange give it more because it's giving me that sunset feel so i'm just gonna take that orange from that and blend it right under the brow i like morphe's brushes a lot they make me happy. Now, I'm not going to do a cut crease because I do so many of them and I guess I need to like chill out. So, I'm going to start by swatching a couple of these. So, this is more of that bronzy color. Come on, focus, focus. That's my girl. And then more of that gold. I think I'm gonna do this more pinky one. But, so the way I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna apply it with my finger. Just cause I feel like some of these shadows go on better with finger application than they do brushes. And I feel like this is one of them. Yeah, that's definitely one of them. Look at, oh, look at this pigment. And now that I took my nails off, I can actually like truly do this. With my nails on, it was, they were getting a little too long. I took a break from them. But now my little fingers look all fat. And then the other side. Just pressing that in because I like since it's like that more glittery effect you using your finger I think gets more products on because I almost want it like a blurred cut crease ish that's pretty and because I have so much eye space I think I'm gonna take it a little higher. I have a ton of eye space, so I think I'm gonna take it all the way up into my crease. Yeah, I like that. So I'm probably gonna go back in once I do my the rest of my face, and I'm gonna use that first gold color in like the inner tear duct, but I'll come back to that later because I'm gonna do some liner, mascara, I'm gonna pop on lashes at the end off camera, and then, you know, your girl be ready. I can't wait to try on these lipsticks though. So I did get them like a week ago and I've been really good. I have not tried them on at all. I have wanted to, but I haven't. Now my tip to doing liner, cause sometimes I do my liner and I don't really explain it, is to lean your head back. So leaning back 
hold that mirror below and look down into it. And honestly, I'm gonna do one, I'm gonna do a whole video on putting on lashes and that's also my trick too. This liner is killing me. So this liner, it's, um, I thought it was a good idea, but it's not. So it's from Mac and it's a two sided liner. So it's called dare black. It has the felt tip on one side and then the other side is like a twist out creamy liner, which I actually like the other side. I just think that, you know, the felt tip is very stiff and it, it's almost like an actual like marker for real. And it doesn't, it's not saturated enough. I guess I like the brush tips better. Cause they have a liner called Brush Black that I love. Like I swear by that one, but the brush is different. And I guess I thought that the brush would be, because that one's so popular, that they would just literally make that exact same one on this side because this is the other side that's pretty much the exact same one is graph black which is a twist out liner so i guess that's my complaint with that one is it just it's almost too stiff and it's not saturated enough so like this side and mine is broke so i can't flip it over but it was like broke when i got it so it's a twist out And it's pretty black too. That's what I like about it. It's very, very creamy. It's super dark. Um, sometimes I like to do both of these liners. Also, I want to tell you guys about the series I'm about to start. So I'm going to, I was going to break this video up and do like the solely skin video and then do a Where's my mascara? A solely like skin video and then I was gonna do like the eye part of it, but I'm gonna start a series. So it's gonna be called Flawless Face Series. I don't know if you guys, a lot of you guys have been rocking with me since way back when. So you guys know about my blog. And on my blog, I did a series called Flawless Face and I pretty much broke down the steps to be able to have a flawless makeup application that's the biggest thing that people tend to ask is how do I get my face like this how do I get this this and this why did how does your makeup look like that and honestly a lot of it is not just the makeup that's really like big to me is people don't want to focus on your skincare or all the other things that you got to do outside of the makeup because people ask me all the time, like, how can I get my makeup to look like yours? I had a little bit of fallout, so I'm going to wipe that off. How do I get my makeup to look like yours or my complexion? And da, 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 da. and I'm like, so, I'm not even going to lie to y'all. A lot of mine is genetics. Thank you, mom and dad. But on the other hand, there are things you can do to help your makeup go on better. And that starts with within. So it kind of broke down the steps of... So this is this is zero oil from Origins. It's bomb.com, but they got rid of it. So my work mom, my old work mom, gave me this one because she said they got rid of it. And I'm gonna see. And I'm mad I never used it until she gave this to me. And now of course they don't make it anymore. So I gotta find something else. But um, you know, I just talk about all the things that it takes to get that good skin. Because even though I have pretty good genetics when it comes to my skincare, and I naturally have really good skin, but you still have to take care of it. Like, especially because I wear makeup so much that it's made me more aware and made me like take care of my skin more. So this is Pores No More from Dr. Brandt's. I got a mini one. I don't need the big one of any of the primers for real, because 
sometimes I don't use primer but a little bit of this stuff goes a long way and they do have expiration dates so sometimes buying huge I mean it's not bad but if you know you're not gonna use a ton of it or you know you rotate a lot of products then get the small one I mean honestly the size this is this is gonna last me at least a few months so and then I, pr I switch so much stuff and I like to try so many brands that it makes it fine. So let's go on to my foundation. I've been using Juvia's Place for a while now and I actually ordered the stick foundation because I want to use it as a contour as well as foundation. So I got, I went into Ulta and played with it and they had a sale on JuviasPlace.com. So your girl order two I ordered the foundation I can't even remember the color but I wear Somalia which is 350 in Juvia's Place now if you have not tried Juvia's Place this is a very small amount but a little bit of this goes a long way you don't need that much so I did put my oil on too if you watch my other videos you see my oil I put that on first and then everything else and I did put balm on my lips, my um, Aquaphor that I've been using. I just did it when I first got out the shower and it's, they're kind of dry now, but it's cool. So I used to do more pressing into the skin, but I'm switching back to kind of like pressing and buffing at the same time. So I'm kind of like pressing it in, but buffing it out. And let me mirror check. This is the joys of being blind and having a YouTube channel. You have to have that mirror so you can see. Because your girl can't see anything. And sometimes I ain't thinking I look cute. And there ain't nobody here to say, sis, blend a little more. But I can't see, so. I got, a, I got a texture on my skin. I don't know what the hell is going on. Now with this, I am going to use the Juvia's Place Concealer in the color 15. I like my concealer pretty light, so it is going to look light. But I feel like most of the people that are recording these videos typically do the concealer kind of light. So. And with this one, I, tend, I put it a little bit lower than my actual under eye. Because one... I didn't put, I probably put too much of it on right now, so I don't even care. It has really, 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 really good coverage. But for some reason, it creases under my eyes, and I think it's just super, super creamy. So I'm, I'm working on trying new ways to use it. Definitely, I use banana powder to set it so that for sure helps did I bring my spray no I did not I forgot it so I let the under eye sit for a little bit and blend kind of everything else And then I'm going to go over and blend with that same brush that I use for my um, foundation. What else has been going on with me? I've just been chilling. Like, honestly, I've been, like I said, I've been in a weird headspace. So I've been spending a lot of time when I'm not at work avoiding contact with people. And I'm just starting to feel a little better. Even doing this is a lot for me because I haven't felt motivated to do anything. Like, it's hard when you lose your motivation and there's so many things you want to accomplish and you just get in that bad headspace and you have to like pull yourself out of it. And you know, another, it's hard too because you can't always expect your friends to like help you pull out of stuff when you know they got their own things going on like a lot of my friends are battling stuff right now too so 
gonna go back in with that brush and kind of buff it out so it's hard to like be fill somebody else's cup when your cup is not full and because people always want to be like well what about your friends but i just feel like everybody's been going through some stuff lately life is hard like so everybody's been de dealing with their own things and just trying to be there for other people at the same time with being there for themselves so it's definitely tough but i'm, I'm slowly picking myself out of this which i'm grateful for i think i'm a pretty strong person and i'm pretty good with digging myself out of holes if i need to and i'm getting there so i don't know if i have talked about my new routine so i'm do i did the juvia's place foundation concealer but i think i've been using it the last couple of videos i've been using the mac mineralized skin finish in the color dark which is pretty close to my skin tone and i like to use that to set everything so this is before I do my contour and other stuff like that um, I'll put a little bit on here and this also is helping too because for some reason I so the concealer works now because I lost a little bit of my color due to winter time and no sunlight but it was adding a little bit of color back to my face after the concealer because it was like a hair too light so I just kind of press a little bit of that on my face and I'm going to use some banana powder. I can't believe I forgot my Fix Plus. I have like a bunch of different setting sprays, but I don't necessarily use them for setting because, I, you know, recently the world was exposed that Fix Plus is not a setting spray. Sad face. It's like a more of a finishing spray and not a setting spray. Just from what I saw from some makeup artists is that the ingredients are more of that of a finishing spray and not a setting spray so so just taking that banana powder and pressing it right under the eye anywhere that you want to set and for me I love the banana powder because I feel like it it's definitely gonna like brighten up now I need to put more of it on it definitely brightens up under my eyes so especially if I want to take pictures or I want that really like Instagram look banana powder is your friend or you can use other powders it also depends on your skin tone um, banana powder might be too yellow for some people but I have a really I have a yellow undertone and as winter goes I'll get even more yellow but this just gives me that extra of course I get some under my eye but we can dust that off Now, I would only do this if you want to be like extra chiseled. And you can do this after your um, highlight and stuff, but. Or your contour, but I'm gonna do it now, cuz. And just the nose, cuz we put that concealer on the nose too. Now, I also like to use this big brush to do my contour. I've just become really, really, really obsessed with this brush. It's getting real bad. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm obsessed with this banana powder, if you can't tell. I'm going to do just a little bit on my forehead. And I use... I'm gonna switch over once I run out of this. I just hate to have like 10 different powders, but I use Studio Fix powder for MAC. Um, I'm NC47 in my actual face color, 
but I use NW55 for my contour color. Now, I don't like a, a dark contour. If I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. I'm not playing games. Look how different my nose looks. And I wipe, um, cause I'm gonna use this brush to dust this powder and stuff off. Now you can use it, leave it set more, but it depends on how much time I have to be playing around. But I just take a tissue, wipe off this brush And then dust this banana off. And you see how it gives me like that brightness? You can still see the yellow, but I want you to see the yellow. And look at that contour. I'm about to go back in though. Because it ain't enough. It's just not enough. Once you dust that powder off. And if I had more time, I would have let the powder sit and then waited and then did the contour. But I don't want this video. My videos always end up longer than I intend. And I don't want this video. I'm at 30, almost just about 32. And I don't want this video to go past 35. But it's probably going to. So that. And then, so for my blush i use fenty's kilowatt i have the ginger binge and moscow mule i bought it for highlighters for some reason but they just were too pinky on me so i just use them both together same brush smile I use them both together to give me that blush Now, I'm a blush girl. I like, as you can see, I like this a lot. And I have no issue. And I, I like this as a blush too because it does have that glow for like the highlighting properties. So, because it's actually like a highlighter technically. So, um, it just, it just does something. It just like looks good. And so I'm going to use the Jackie Ina and Artist Decor. Artist Couture can't talk. Their collab, I got La Peach. She had La Bronze and La Peach, but I feel like I have so many bronze highlighters that I had to get something different. And same brush. Now I've gotten into like, kind of putting a little in the middle of my forehead, of course, down the center of my nose. So, I'm going to go pop on some lashes, and then I'm going to come back for the lip try-on. for the um, And the, I have three really, really, really pretty colors. So, I'm going to do try on all three. I'm going to go pop my lashes on. I'll be right back. Okay, so, back. Got my lashes on. These are Libra from my line. And I wanted to add a couple things. So, first, I'm going to go in... See, this video about to be long as hell. Back with the matte book, I'm just gonna add a little of that burgundy color we used. Under. Actually, I'm gonna add both, cause I'm gonna add that darker to the outer corner. And then, like I said earlier, I'm gonna go back in with that gold and just add a little bit in the inner corner. That one I'm gonna use a brush just cause I don't want it to be everywhere. 
and just press a little bit in here. And just so, I'm gonna use my finishing spray so I don't look powdery, because when you tend to do a lot of makeup on and you press that powder on top, you're gonna have that powdery finish. So you need some type of spray, whether it's a setting spray or a finishing spray, to kind of melt everything down. You gotta spray half the bottle. If you don't spray half the bottle, why did you even pull it out? So, try on time. So these boxes are so freaking cute. So I got three different colors and they open up like that and they have a little paper. I like how she like includes papers with the name. So this one is called Sorry Not Sorry and it has a little name on it. I got these on sale, actually black, no it was, was it Black Friday? It was Cyber Monday or something like that and she had a sale and look how cute this is. It has like the little lips on it. This one is the more mauve color. So look at that. I'm gonna swatch them off first and then I'll try them on. Cause I'm gonna try them on from the one I'm not gonna wear and then I'm gonna try the one I am gonna wear last. So this one is called Sedition. And this one, I think is this one's like the red one. But I got them, so she had them on sale. I think they're normally like $27 or something. She had them on sale for 10. So I got three of them. So that's the red. I'm telling y'all, I did not even try these on yet. And these are, and they're so smooth. Like they feel very soft, but at the same time, super, super pigmented. And they don't like look shiny. Um, I like shiny lips, but I feel like for some reason they typically don't last well on me. And this one is Realness. But she had them for $10, so I got three of them because when the hell else is she gonna have them for $10? But I also have 8,000 lipsticks, so I don't need to buy. And I think this is the one that I'm gonna wear today. It's like that nice nude color. So, let's get to trying them on. So I brought you guys in a little bit closer, and I'm going to put my eyes on just so I can see for real. So this is the liner I'm gonna use. It's um, Shayla and ColourPop Makeup Shayla. If you don't know who that is, figure it out. Um, it's like a nice brown color, but I use that for kind of everything. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna probably not try it with the red, but we'll see. Look at that pigment though. It's super, super, super creamy. And this is my first time using this liner too. It was recommended to me. Now, I guess they sell it regularly, but it was in her kit, too. So this lipstick is gorgeous. So this would go good with this look, too. But... I'm not gonna wear it with that, so. We're gonna take off the red. Like I said, this one is called, see this is what happens when you take your glasses off, you can't see. Sedition, so I'll put all the information of the lipstick too, but this is her Luke's Trans lipsticks, all three of them. So I'm gonna go in with the other color. Give me one second. So back with lip number two. This lip liner is bomb too. It's so smooth, like. Now I do 
overdraw my lips a little. Not much, but like my Cupid's bow, I don't act like it exists. So I'm gonna do this darker one, which is sorry, not sorry. Yeah, this could definitely get worn every day. This could definitely get it. Yeah. So that one, same lip liner, the BFF4. Like I said, I use brown liner pretty much everything, so. I'll be right back. Last one. So this is the final lip and this is the one I'm actually going to wear with this look today because I am going to meet my friend her tacos. So there's no method to madness because I know the first lip I lined after and then this one I'm doing before. So. The reason I want more of an ombre, so I want more of the lighter in the center. So I'm going to use this last one, which is Realness. And this is about to be my best friend. I can feel it already. But this one, I, I kind of want these ones to more be an ombre, so more of the brown than I did the lip color, which is why I did that. Oh, look at this. This is me. This is my lip every day. So this is kind of why I did the liner second well first in the other one first in this one so i can do more of like more brown than the color or the other one i wanted more of the color and not and use the liner just to line or this one i kind of like that ombre effect yeah this is the lip i'm wearing today so but all of them are beautiful like they're really 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 really, really pigmented my lips are naturally dark, um, if you couldn't tell. I tend to put a little bit of foundation on my lips so they're not as dark, but my lips are pretty dark. And this, I didn't feel like I had to use half the tube just to get that coverage. And I have a birthmark on my bottom, make sure I got no on my teeth, on my bottom lip. So a lot of times I had to load up a lot of product to cover that. And you know, they feel really smooth. And they feel really like super, super hydrating. Like I don't feel like I have to put a whole bunch of shit under there just to get my lips to stay moist. But they also are kind of, kind of not matte, but not really super shiny either. Kind of like creamy-ish with a matte-ish. It's a little bit of everything. But um, let me take it off so you can see the whole look. Yeah, this is like my everyday lip. Like when I ordered this one, I knew this was going to be her because um, she and I get along very well. And this goes with a little bit of everything. So this is a complete look. Everything, in, I think I'm going to spray, so don't judge me. Spray a little bit more. So guys, thanks for tuning in. I love you guys so much. I know I have been gone, but I'm feeling more like myself. So hopefully I will be able to pump out these videos every Tuesday like planned. So thanks for tuning in with me, Steph Squad. I love you guys.